Hello, welcome to my blog where uh, I like to show uh, exciting and interesting engineering simulations using ANSYS tools. My name is Mark Berkman uh, with Ozen Engineering and uh, you know we have uh, many videos online uh, on YouTube and our website uh, if you look at OZEN en Engineering on the web uh, you can see very interesting videos uh, regarding electronics, mechanical, fluids, thermal, uh, optics, you know, all sorts of engineering simulations uh, using ANSYS tools. So today we're going to concentrate on uh, design and simulation of a radial turbine. And for this purpose, uh, I've already opened up ANSYS Workbench, which has various tools in it. Under Component Systems, I'm going to go to Vista RTD. RTD uh, uh, being radial turbine design. You, you can also use this uh, particular tool for pump design as well. Uh, and here, uh, what we essentially uh, do is uh, we define an operating condition. So we um, uh, start with a, a best efficiency point uh, for our turbine. Uh, then we, we give uh, our tool uh, some limitations or some parameters to have the uh, to locate the design uh, you know so some ratios uh, etc so it can size uh, the uh, turbine blade in a sense uh, you know do a mean a 1d mean line design so let's start with putting our temperatures we have hot combusted air coming in at 2000 kelvin 200 uh, kilopascals let's say it's about you know 0.1 kilograms per second with this expansion ratio and we'd like our machine to operate at 1000 rpm and uh, I'll, I'll leave the rest of these uh, flow angles etc the same uh, for current time being let's look at our geometry uh, here, you know, let, let's uh, do a shroud inlet to exit of 70%. Uh, and then let's have uh, 13 number of veins. Axial length, you know, instead of using correlations, I just want to specify my own maybe length to diameter of 50%. And let's assign a clearance of 1 millimeters. So as we hit calculate, our tool is... Uh, Go, going to come up with a uh, with a mean line design as you can see two meaning inlet three meaning on the outlet side and uh, uh, in the top block it's our essentially input uh, that that we put in and then uh, second block shows the performance you know critical efficiencies with this design and then uh, you know to talks about the uh, Mach numbers uh, Oh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, talk, talks about meridional velocities. Uh, and, uh, you know, basically defines the impeller geometry and nozzle geometry. All right, and uh, we'll look into uh, some more of these, uh, you know, uh, what happens to this shape? How do we control it using these parameters? Or, you know, what type of impact does the operating conditions have on this geometry? Uh, we'll do that in an upcoming video. So for this stage, I'm going to hit close uh, because we already have a blade design. What we do want to do is now analyzing it uh, using the Vista True Flow or Vista TF tool. So it goes through, uh, goes through the blade design. It sets the case up. Then, as you can see, you know, it just solves it very quickly. Uh, so in the setup, uh, if we click on it, what you see is on the left side, let's maybe expand this a little, uh, kind of uh, gives the operating condition as we defined. Then uh, goes through the solution space, uh, stage, which was very fast. And then it generates results. These results are actually presented in the CFD post software. And uh, this software is uh, it's, it's a very useful uh, 
post-processing tool typically used with uh, ANSYS CFX and ANSYS Fluent, which are uh, you know the main CFD tools. Uh, and what you can see here is the meridional velocity uh, ac across the section. And the user can look at different values, you know, pressures, temperatures, etc., as they wish, which I'm not going to go into this presentation. And uh, we'll have uh, two, at least two more presentations following this, talking more about blade design, blade gen. Uh, tools. Thank you so much.